A volunteer program is helping make a difference to a significant Southland wetland. Sarah Bedford took a look at how planting is helping the Waituna Lagoon. The banks of this small stream on a farm near Waituna were a hive of activity this morning with volunteers doing their bit to help the nearby wetlands. So how is planting on the banks of a creek helping the Waituna Lagoon? It creates habitat for birds and for fish species and it means that the water flowing in um, is flowing into a clean habitat that protects those animals down there as well. Around 1,300 plants will be planted near streams on farms and conservation land this week as part of the Catchment Care Programme. The work is a collaboration between Fonterra, Conservation Volunteers New Zealand, with help from the Department of Conservation and Environment Southland. It's the second year the programme has run in the South and it's making a big difference. They play a really significant role. They um, have been allowed us to really increase the amount of work we can do um, with farmers and on conservation land and it means that a huge body of work um, is, is achieved. Around 20 people, the majority from Fonterra and conservation volunteers are giving their time to the project. Because well, I wanted to work somewhere and do something for nature. I think this is really a good way of kind of making a difference and helping those people. I think it's really good what they're doing. It's nice to help them. <laughs> that is a very great experience for uh, care something in New Zealand. So I just decide for to join this program. Oh no, it's just good to give something back and uh, do your part and do your bit. And, yeah, and hopefully uh, come back later on and it's... Um, it's all working and good uh, row of uh, flourishing plants. Conservation Volunteers New Zealand team leader Bruce Ede explains why this work was chosen. The lagoon itself, um, it, its significance is huge, so it's um, one of the ones that deserves a lot of attention. Fonterra Edendale environmental team leader Chris Wright says the project is about a commitment to the environment. When we come down here and we work on these fantastic initiatives, we realise that we can do something concrete on the ground that will have a profound effect on the environment for the, for the better. Those we spoke to today say they're keen for the work in Southland to continue in the future. Sarah Bedford, South Today News.